Welcome to the Growing Places Stock House. I'm Kyle, the perennial manager. With me I have Amy, our perennial propagator. Uh, this is our house where we keep all of our stock plants. A lot of these were started in the summer last year. Amy took cuttings and got all these growing. They were actually started as little plugs. Quite often there were three plugs that were then put into these larger pots. Uh, with this, we are doing cuttings of mainly herbs and sedums here in perennials. A lot of other things in herbs we will do from seed. And then we do get in plants from other suppliers that can grow the patented stuff. We aren't licensed propagators for that sort of thing. Amy right now is taking some cuttings of seeding, uh, sedums that will uh, be stuck in the prop house in just a few minutes. Uh, these are some of the scented geraniums, the citronella. She took these earlier and these were just some extras just to see what what goes into the prop house from here. So as we walk through, we do have our beneficial insects because we do grow organically. We are not certified organic, but we are using organic methods for our growing, especially with all of the edibles. So these actually have little guys in there to control other bad guys. Uh, these are thyme. And as we walk away, since I'm more than six feet away, I'm gonna pull my mask down just so you can hear me better. But we've got the various times and then right here we've got rosemary so this is similar to the size plug that they'll be put into in the prop house this is just a little bit larger but just to give you an idea so those were taken a while ago uh, once Amy takes the cuttings anywhere from three to seven or eight weeks in the prop house before we then pot it up into the larger size such as these times this would be the size you'd see them on the table in this three inch pot so roughly five weeks we'll say in prop house as an average and then another at least five weeks in this three inch pot before they'd be ready for sale so we are starting propagation uh, we actually started in December with some things that take a little bit longer for the early crops and we go all the way through the summer and again these guys were started in the summer and we maintain them Amy trims them they're checked daily we've got things over here like the mint they're in larger pots just because they seem to like the, the larger soil volume. All the different mints, and we do have them labeled just because at times they look a little similar to one another. Here we've got some lavender. Some plants are easier. The, the sedums tend to be easy. The mints are easy times lavender they get a little bit more difficult so some of these things it, it is a little trickier to do cuttings uh, we actually have a few of the basils that we do cuttings this is the African blue and then the Greek columnar all the rest of the basils are done from seed but these two are cutting variety and then we go into scented geraniums and since the citronella is so popular Amy has a few large stock plants down here And you can see she's gone through this morning and she's clipped off like this. So this is what's going over to the prop house. And then these plants will be allowed to grow and then we'll have another crop coming up in a few weeks that she'll be able to harvest more cuttings to make more plants. And with citronella, we even have extra over there. 